because he didn't know what was to come. But I seen his reaction from the video, and he's here standing tall. I commend him. Let's do it. Let's do it for the guys that are in this uniform, that are doing good. Let's do it. We got it. We can do it. Well, we can do what it. What do we know in Los Angeles that they didn't know in Memphis 30 years later? What are you referencing? What are you speaking of? Like, what part? In other words, we like to think this wouldn't happen in Los Angeles, what happened in Memphis. I would like to think. Is that naive or? I would like to think that I hope I don't I don't know things because I'm like I have to detach myself mentally. But um, I would hope that this doesn't happen. Is it happening? It is. And I'm not. And I'm I'm not here. Incidents lately. I'm not here to um to agree with that. I don't agree with that. That's not going to solve anything. But I understand it. I don't agree with it at all. Those people, people work hard for what they work. They work hard. People come here, work hard for this, this opportunity. I'm honored to be here. Where did he go? I'm honored to be here. They, he, he, this man worked hard. He don't deserve this place not being here, but I understand that pain. I do. I understand his mama is crying. How do you explain that? How do you explain to that lady that her son's no longer here and he was begging? I don't know how that's not taken serious. Why is that not serious? This man begged. We watched him. He, he begged. He begged for his life. He begged for his life. I don't know how that feels, but I know when I was a kid, when I didn't want to get a whooping, I can only imagine for your life. So I, I, I think we could do better. I, I'm hopeful. I think if we use our pain. Mm -hmm. What's the next step? The next step is what we're going to do next. What are you going to do next? Good question. Let's have these uncomfortable okay. conversations. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I, I can tell you what we're going to do next. Right now, we're going to stay unified, but more importantly, it's like Lord King said, it's about action. And that's why Community Build will have a series of healing circles to bring the community in here to talk about it, discuss it, and to make sure that we can help heal each other. We'll also be viral. That way, if you can't make it, you can be on Zoom. But we must keep talking about it. We must keep healing each other. And that's why we invited the community to come down so they could watch the video with us. That way we could talk and heal each other because we just saw another black man beaten to death on videotape just as we saw George Floyd die on videotape. That's traumatic. Just seeing the video reminded me of how Laura's father, Rodney King, was nearly beat to death. So for us, this is serious. It's about trauma that's infected us, but we must help heal ourselves. And that's why I'm grateful for Robert Sosedo and Community Build for continuing to have healing circles. So we only ask that Mayor Bass and the city of L.A. give more funding to help heal L.A. Would it be possible to speak to the, to the chief, sure. Chief Woodward? Phil, hold on one Members second. of this uh, community group and their reaction. The LAPD releasing a statement about potential violence as a result of the release of these videos. Quote, the accounts of the circumstances of this heinous crime and the criminal actions of those involved are reprehensible. Quoting here, the department will do all within its power to ensure the lawful expression of the public's anger and frustration is protected and prepared to facilitate those wishing to exercise their First Amendment rights. Interesting, we just got a statement that was just handed to me. It's a joint statement from um, the San Francisco Police Officers Association, the Los Angeles Police Protective League, State of Hawaii Organization of Police Officers, and the San Jose POA. So this is several different groups all coming together from our region. And it says, quote, the killing of Tyree Nichols at the hands of five cowardly former Memphis police officers is repugnant and the complete antithesis of how honorable law enforcement professionals conduct themselves every day. The accused individuals were fired, charged with murder and other crimes, arrested, fingerprinted, photographed, and jailed just like any other suspected criminal. The brutalization of Mr. Nichols was horrific. For his family to have to view the video of Tyree suffering through those evil acts is unfathomable. We pray that they find the strength to deal with this unmitigated loss. We should note that is coming from the police unions, including yeah. the Los Angeles Police Union for the LAPD. We've had them on numerous times given circumstances here in Los Angeles. To hear them release a statement is a very big deal. Ben Crump this morning, who is working with the family of Tyree Nichols, saying, Memphis Police Union, we want to hear from you. So to have the police union stand up and say, we saw the video too, we think the video is, quote, repugnant, 
is saying a lot. It's quite something because these yeah. are the organizations that usually will put out the statement defending officers mm -hmm. in many cases, uh, saying we got to see the officer's perspective, we got to mm -hmm. understand their point of view. They often push back to what mm -hmm. they see as unfair portrayals of officers. So the fact that they're using words like repugnant and antithesis uh, is quite something and shows pretty much bipartisan, unified condemnation of the actions it there. It is that poll video, that wide shot that is so very telling. Are we